As 2023 draws to a close, one of the most powerful local offices in the country is up for grabs. On Saturday, voters in Houston will decide the next mayor of the nation's fourth largest city. The election hasn't garnered much media attention outside of Texas, but it's worth paying attention to. Not only is election the latest example of progressive centrist divide that has characterized other major mayoral and congressional elections in recent years. But voters also elect a powerful politician. The mayor runs the city, former Harris County Judge Ed Emmett said. The primary for this nonpartisan position was held in November, but no candidate received more than 50 percent, prompting a runoff between the top two vote-getters, both Democrats Houston, who has been in Congress since 1995, representing Representative Sheila Jackson Lee, and State Sen. John Whitmire, who has served in the state legislature since 1973. Both candidates highlighted their experience working with stakeholders with a variety of competing interests to deliver results for Houstonians. But Jackson Lee broke his record in Congress and maintained ties with National Democrats. That makes sense for a city that voted 65 percent to 33 percent for President Joe Biden in 2020. Former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton personally campaigned for Jackson Lee in Houston. And former President Bill Clinton endorsed him last week. Jackson Lee also has support from outgoing Mayor Sylvester Turner, House Democratic leader Hakeem Jeffries and former House Speaker Nancy Pelosi. The congressman has portrayed himself as a staunch Democrat who knows use the tools of power in Washington. How bring money the district and care for his constituents. And he's very visible, Emmett said. And his entire focus was on that. His rock-solid Democratic base. However, Emmett added that Whitmire is also a lifelong Democrat. With the support of Democratic Rep. Sylvia Garcia and several Democratic members of the state legislature. But Whitmire is clearly more centrist candidate in the race. He is running as a tough-on-crime pragmatist in GOP-dominated Texas Senate. Protect and Serve PAC, which supports Whitmire, campaigned against Jackson Lee by tying him to the movement to defund the police, including sending mailers accusing him of working with Rep. Ilhan Omar. Whitmire also has a huge financial advantage. Jackson Lee spent $341,000 between October 29 and November 29 and entered the home stretch of the campaign with only $235,000 on hand. Meanwhile, Whitmire reported spending nearly $3 million between October 29 and November 29. The Preserve and Save PAC spent more than $500,000 during the same period. Whitmire also reported that he has $3 million in bank, which could go far in the final week of election, with two politicians serving more than 80 years in elected office. Both candidates in the race have received their share of bad press. One of the biggest challenges for Jackson Lee was overcoming news of alleged Mr.